Hi everyone, Serga here. I hope you are doing well. Welcome to a new video on Total War Elysium. And first, I've bought myself a new gaming chair, so you will not hear the creak of my old chair anymore. But uh, let's jump directly into the subject of this video and we will talk about three kingdoms set in Total War Elysium. So, firstly, uh, I didn't play so much Free Kingdom uh, set when the beta was, uh, was here, uh, mostly because I've been uh, able to have a correct set of the card of, of uh, Free Kingdom pretty late uh, compared to Troy or to Empire, um, to Empire set. And secondly, because I don't know, I didn't have a big feeling with uh, Free Kingdoms, uh, with Free Kingdom set. I mean, I've played a lot at Sao, and it was nice to play uh, on the movement thing, but I would uh, talk about it later. And I'd play a bit Sun Rain, but I don't know, it was kind of awkward Sun Rain. And I didn't play Dong Zhuo because I did not have the amethyst to buy him. And when uh, when I've got the the amethyst, I don't know. I, I it was difficult to find uh, a good deck with him, despite uh, having uh, despite having uh, the OTK turn with the strategic triumph things, etc. So which was not kind of my uh, not my kind of gameplay. I like to play control like I said before, but I don't know, this uh, version of Dong Zhuo with uh, the scribe uh, have a lot of supply cash and just bully the game when uh, you can put scribe, conceal on it, supply cash, supply cash, draw your entire deck and then just destroy the opponent by playing through triumph, etc. I don't know, it didn't feel good to play like this was kinda like you, you like if you are cheating it was not cheat obviously but uh, because the game allowed us but yeah I think it was kind of a kind of toxic combo so but uh, we will talk about it when we go to Doom Zero. But yeah Free Kingdom didn't play it so much but uh, still giving my uh, my point of view on, on, on it because I want to do it for every, for every faction. So let's start by review the set. Um, Free Kingdoms has a good set for buffing units. Uh, give buff, plus one attack, plus one, plus one death, uh, etc. It was pretty good. And it, uh, it has good medium deck with a modded things so with a modded combo so modded uh, um, for those who remember who would not remember what does mandate what, what did mandate mandate it was when you buff this unit when when you play something on this unit it could be a buff uh, it could be a move it could be everything so when you play something uh, on this unit you uh, Initiate the mandate effect. So here we can see on the videos where the curtain nuke uh, mandate you draw a card, but you attack uh, you attack the generals. And sometimes the mandate effect was give plus one plus one buff all your uh, give plus one turn to all your units, etc. So I didn't see so much uh, mandate deck except for Dong Zhuo. Uh, sometimes we have seen some mandate effect. Uh, with Tatsao, but what it was mostly with Dong Zhuo because Dong Zhuo was heavy and was able to, to tank the early game to, until the time you could play your card with Mandate Effect because uh, most of the card with uh, the Mandate Effect was a cost, where with a cost of uh, 5 uh, between 4 and, uh, and 8. So, uh, so yeah, it was. You need you need to pass through the early game to um, to go to the 
to the light with uh, to play Mondet. But I, I, I think it was a good mechanics, and honestly, I would like to see more. I would like to see more of it. I really like to uh, this mechanics, and it was. I think it was pretty cool to uh, to play something like that. Another gameplay that uh, I would like to see uh, in the future for Free Kingdom the set is a gameplay based about peas and things, and most importantly about um, um, Free, uh, yellow jacket, uh, not yellow jacket, no, yellow, yellow jacket is, is it one, sorry, uh, yellow turban. Yeah, I would like to see a, um, a set or deck dedicated to yellow turban, uh, play uh, when you can play something uh, with, uh, and if you have any uh, yellow turban, you have buff, etc. I, I, I would like to see uh, to see this because what have initiated uh, Free Kingdoms in a row? It's the, uh, the royal thing of Yellow Turban, so yeah, I would like to see things like that. I think it will it would be pretty cool, and, and that's all. I think uh, yeah, Monet of Haven, the uh, Yellow Turban, and maybe another archetype, maybe more movement card because, um, like we can see, there is not. Big movement card, uh, dedicated movement card associated to uh, Free Kingdom. While the leader we have seen the most with movement mechanic is uh, Tatsao. So maybe I would like to see uh, maybe to help uh, movement with Tatsao, even if uh, movement is pretty uh, is already pretty good. So uh, let's jump so to Tatsao. Uh, because we, uh, we are talking about him. So, Tatsao is a very good leader. He was a very good leader. Um, the ability to heal himself by one when you move a unit uh, push you to play a movement deck. It's pretty obvious. Plus, uh, the, capa the, the ability to draw card nearly for free because your, uh, the, your signature card will be reduced uh, by one each time you are uh, buffing, nothing. Like while you play something on the, on the unit or on, uh, on the structure, can be ally or, or enemy. Make the deck very consistent, make the deck very cool, and make Tatsao pretty good in the, in the game. Plus, it was uh, Tata was one of the starter deck, so you it's pretty easy to build a deck with him, uh, and that makes him really good. Yeah, the fact that he has 20, 22 life, he can heal himself, he can draw uh, nearly in late game nearly every turn, and sometimes he can draw for free. Damn, that's really 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 good so yeah I don't think like I said before uh, yeah like I said before I don't think I would like uh, to add more on Tatsao I think it's a leader it's a pretty good spot right now it's good and it's nice to be uh, that Tatsao is good but uh, because that means that new player can um, begin the game and have a deck and have a leader that is meta pretty quickly so because you need only a few cards because mostly of the cards of this movement deck are cards you are in the beginning or can be replaced pretty uh, pretty easily and uh, and yeah I, I would like to see something like I said uh, for, for Tassao more movement deck in the free kingdom set uh, I think this is something uh, I would like to see then uh, let's talk about uh, Sun Rain. So Sun Rain is a difficult case because I really don't like her. Uh, I, I think Sun Rain is. 
I don't know, it's... She's in a pretty weird uh, spot where she can do aggro things when you want to be aggro with Sunwen while you can't really be aggro because uh, Sunwen is kind of weak uh, not so not so few HP uh, yeah she can attack on short range one turn uh, uh, every two turn but uh, in the end she can deal two damage two damage with his uh, she can deal two damage but meh sometimes the retaliation is too difficult I think the problem I think the problem is the Sun to be honest for, uh, for someone because the Sun Antadant is good while not so good to, because it has been nerfed it, well, the Sun Antadant was just pretty in bar when it was uh, when Sun, when Sun Ren, uh, power was to deploy your Sun Antadant on the board when you kill a unit and Sun Antadant was 1 free plus 1 action okay it was just too good then it become 1-2 which is kinda me and and yeah but one two plus one action I don't know the, the card feel really weird because you can't really rely on a one two but if it becomes one three it's just too powerful so I don't know I, I think we need to completely rework some rain put her in a mostly more aggro mode but right now no nah. right now nah, I, I, she's just too weak and again she's not there is not so many cards uh, when you play Sun Wen as aggro deck you have this Sabre Infantry here you have the uh, you have the Recruiter here that help you to put some board etc so that means that when you play aggro deck with a uh, free kingdom you mostly re-level on uh, on timeless card or on uh, ancient era card and then you and then you want to play with some way maybe swarm things with a uh, with a warlord, the, the one one that buff himself uh, plus one plus one by uh, every ally you have on the board. So yeah, I think this is a, this is what you want to play as Sun Wen, but right now it's very difficult with the Sun Ten between uh, between with the Sun Ten. Uh, it's just being uh, one two, so no resiliency. And that's all. So yeah, Tanrain is kind of in a awkward spot. Was at the end of the battle, kind of in a in a kind of awkward spot. And I would like to see here uh, to see how we work. I don't know how. I don't have any idea because I didn't play Free Kingdom uh, set. Uh, that's much to have a better idea of what I would like to see for the for the set. But uh, but yeah, plus the nerf of Minais, obviously, was really really bad. So let's jump on our last friend. Our dinding, uh, our dear dinding dong dong duo. What can we say about Dong Zhuo? Because, like I said, Dong Zhuo was not played so much. It was played only on the OTK combo um, thing 
which was kind of I don't know yeah like I said it's really like it's feel like cheating you know uh, because you make, it's feeling like you are exploiting a bug which is not the case but it was clearly not fun it was surely it was not fun to play against and yeah I don't know I don't know what to think uh, about Don Duo because again I didn't play in that much because I didn't have the card to play it so So yeah, I, I don't know what to say about the Duo. I think I, I, I would like to see him in the future. I would like to play him in the future just for the mem. I think yeah, Don Duo is mostly for the mem. It, it can be very, 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 very strong again uh, with the things like uh, Scrib, etc, etc, but yeah, I, I, I don't really know what to say about uh, about Tokyo. Again, I didn't play the freaking dub that much, so my point of view, my opinion is not as uh, good on uh, freaking dumb that it was on Croy and that it will be on Empire. But uh, yeah. Well, nothing to say on Tokyo then. Sorry guys, sorry about that. Not my best bit, but it's okay. Uh, you can tell me what you think about uh, Sunwen and Dongzhu and even Tetsao in uh, in the comment. Feel free to uh, feel free to uh, to share the video. Feel free to uh, to subscribe, ring the bell, etc. Everything you uh, every YouTuber said, and uh, I will not because I forgot every time. But it's okay. It was Saga. Next time we will talk about Vikings, Viking era, and. I don't know if it's much, so much to say about Viking because it was pretty the same gameplay <laughs> again and again. Go face, face is a place. Take care of you. Take care of, uh, of your uh, beloved. It was Agar at your service.